create a new file PHP file and we're going to name it functions.php and we're going to save it in the root of the themes directory okay and now we're going to coming uh, we're going to go ahead and close the uh, section A and open up section B and we're going to start with the options panel and <clears throat> the initialize options function dot PHP I'm going to go ahead and pop that in and save Now, right after we've added that, we can come back over and take a look inside of our admin. So right now, under Appearance, <clears throat> if we refresh, now under Appearance, we have an Options panel. I'll go ahead and click this you'll see that there's nothing here however we've got the uh, options panel created so let's go ahead and create some options first of all we need um, the person to be able to upload their custom logo and then the favicon and also Google Analytics tracking so let's create a Let's open up the um, admin slash theme dash options dot PHP file. Here you can scroll down and you'll see this area where I've uh, set uh, begin adding options here, stop adding options here. So you're going to put all of your options inside of here. So under, underneath B, theme options panel, theme-options.php, collapse this to receive all of the different input options available for this options panel. So um, once again, we want to add a logo. We need to allow the person to upload a file. So we'll use the file uploader here. I'll go ahead and drop down a bit. In fact, we need to add a heading first. So we'll I'll pop in an options heading. And we're going to name this options heading general options. Okay. And let's give it a name. And this is the title that's going to show. Okay, and then we'll name the ID. You're only going to change what's after the underscore. Keep the underscore. So we'll replace files to logo. And we'll save. Now when we refresh that options panel. You see that we now have under, we have the uh, heading general options and we have the upload your logo which is coming from here we have the upload image icon right here and so now we've got to update this section of the theme now that's going to be inside of our header.php file and we'll just find where the logo is here it is right here now the first thing that we're going to do before we make that logo image dynamic is let's change this uh, this link uh, reference so I come in here and come under general functionality 
and here's the uh, get home URL so that's going to link back to the home page now we're going to replace this source URL with an echo from the options panel so we'll use the um, we'll come under options usage and theme and display option value and we'll change this from option ID to logo so that it matches with our ID and we'll change this alt so let's make it echo out the uh, the site name so that's under general functionality display site name and we'll go ahead and save and another thing is that if you want to restrict the dimensions um, you can go ahead and set a static um, height and let's see what the height of this image is and that way it <clears throat> so it's 75 pixels in height so let's give it a uh, restriction of 75 pixels in height and now refresh so you see that our our image is now gone However, we'll go ahead and upload an image using the image uploader. And here's the logo. And there we are. Let's save all changes. Options updated. And now when we refresh, we have that logo here. Next, let's change this uh, favicon. So we're going to add um, a upload favicon section right below the upload your logo. Going back under theme-options.php go ahead and hit the drop down and pop in the uh, favicon so there we are save that oh and then also we may as well go ahead and pop in the Google Analytics Okay. All right, I'll save that. Let's take a look. Refresh. So now, and I'll just show if we take a look at the uh, footer, you see down here.